ruler of war. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. Gaze at the ceiling with a bored expression as you walk up to the front desk, and with a voice that sounds like it is distant and indifferent, ask to see the holder of war. You will get a light tap on the shoulder. It is now safe to look down. The attendant will smile politely and begin walking, giving a speech that sounds almost mechanical as he describes the history of the asylum. Do not react to his speech. It is insanely bloody and filled with rather graphic descriptions. But reaction at this point means a one-way trip to hell. After some time of walking, you will come to an elaborately carved door of mahogany and gold. Stop in front of it. Keep your bored expression on your face, possibly adding a blank grin, but do not react as the worker grabs you by the back of your shirt, or he will change his grip and you will be without your head. The worker will pitch you through the door and you will hear it slam shut behind you. You are on what might have once been fertile farmland, but is now a ravaged, blasted battlefield. Soldiers clad in two colors, a horribly bright yet somehow stained white, and a filthy, sickening black, are battling in the most horrid manners possible, fighting with rifles, cannon, swords, bows, all the weapons of war that have existed since the dawn of time. Do not shrink from this battlefield, or the soldiers will notice you, stop their quarrels, and turn upon you with a ravenous hatred, for you are what they have been fighting over, and in their fevered, battle-crazed minds, that means that you are the cause of all their bloodshed. Also, do not try to go back through the door. It has fallen flat in the mud, pushed over by a screaming infantryman wielding a bayoneted rifle. If you let him get the better of you, he will rip you to pieces in seconds, but somehow not manage to kill you. The pain of the experience will undoubtedly drive what is left of your mind mad. Instead, drop your bored expression and put a grim, determined one on your face. Walk in measured, military-style steps straight ahead until you can see a three-story tall structure of blasted concrete that might once have been a command bunker. Do not turn around while doing so. The armor has arrived to the field, and if you stop or change your pace, the tanks will run you down. Once you have entered the bunker, do not give any notice to anyone who makes a request of you or tries to talk to you, no matter how desperate they seem. They each think you are the enemy, and the moment you respond, you will be rewarded with a knife to the face. Instead, Go straight up the stairway in front of you, to the second level of the bunker. As you mount the stairs, a crash will be heard behind you. That's the fire doorway ceiling as a flamethrower detachment attacks. On the second level, there is only one man, sitting at a desk, yelling into a phone. The stairs to the third level are a mass of twisted concrete. The man at the desk wears the stars of a general, but does not seem to notice that the phone, as well as all those on the level, are dead. Walk up to him, salute, and in your finest military voice yell, Sir! He will snap around to stare at you. If he thinks you are not worthy of his army, he will slowly dismantle you with his hands, and
and you will join him in his oncoming death. If he thinks you are worthy, he will nod and stare pointedly at you. He does not like slackers, so quickly ask him your question. The only one he will respond to is, Where do I go, sir? He will tell you. He will tell you in such detail, such horrifying detail, that you will be tempted to strangle him. Do not try it. He is a far more experienced fighter than you could ever hope to be. And should you break salute, you will meet an extremely messy demise. When he is done, he will say, At ease, and hand you his pistol. This is your cue to drop salute. Take the sidearm and put it in your holster. If you did not have one before, you do now. An explosion will suddenly decimate the far wall and atomize the general. Through the hole you will see, on the horizon, the long, thin shape of a missile rising. Shut your eyes tight and open them for nothing. The sounds of horrid battle will fade away until, out of the silence, a single gunshot rings out. Open your eyes. You are standing in the middle of a field of waving wheat. Somehow, you know that this is where the horrific battle you walked through will take place. And you also know, somehow, that you will be in the general's place. The pistol he handed you is Object 44 of 538. Learn how to use it. It has one magazine left. If you fire the last shot at the right time, you will avoid the fate of the general. If not, you will join him.